Hello, this is McKay with BYU Software Training, and today I'll be showing you how to format your headings as styles for ETDs in Word. Before we begin, go over to the View tab and click on the checkbox for navigation in the Show section. That will bring up the navigation pane on the left, which will help us with this whole process. Then click back on the Home tab. We're going to start with the Heading 1s, which are any headings in your document that are centered in the middle of the page. To apply the Heading 1 style to this heading here, we'll simply click inside the line, come up to the top in the Home tab where it says Styles, and hover over Heading 1. Now before we go ahead and click on it to apply the style, it's important to recognize that Word has default formatting attached to each style that does not line up with ETD guidelines. The heading 1, for example, makes our text blue and left aligned, which is not what we want. So we have to update our heading 1 to match what we already have on the page. To do that, simply right click on the style and select Update Heading to match selection. We'll know the heading has been applied if it's showing up in our navigation pane, which will act as a preview of sorts for our table of contents. Now we can go through and find every single heading 1 in our document, and from now on it's as simple as just clicking inside the the heading 1 and clicking on the Heading 1 style to apply it. I'm going to speed through now and apply the rest of the Heading 1s to every other place it applies in my document. Next, I'm going to apply all my Heading 2s. Heading 2s are headings that are left aligned and are usually italicized but on a separate line from any body text. You'll follow the exact same process here except that you'll use the Heading 2 instead of the Heading 1. Just click your cursor inside the Heading 2 line and right-click on the Heading 2 in the Style section at the top, and then click Update to match selection. You'll now see the Heading 2 show up in the navigation pane, but they will be indented underneath any of the Heading 1s. I'm going to now speed through again and apply all the Heading 2s to the rest of my document. Now I'm going to end here and talk quickly about your title page. I saved this for last because your title should technically be a heading 1, but there's potentially an extra step here depending on how long your title is. When you apply a style in your Word document, it applies to the whole paragraph. So anytime you hit enter, it will end an applied style. This is a problem for longer titles where we had to hit enter in the middle for spacing reasons. You can see here that when I apply the heading 1 to the first part of my title, it ends here at analog when I need it to be applied to my whole title. So I'm going to undo that. The real solution here is to insert what's called a soft enter. To do this, I'm first going to turn on the spacing symbols in my document by clicking on this little paragraph symbol in my paragraph section of the Home tab. I can now see every time I've hit Enter in my document to create a space. Next, I'm going to delete this Enter after Analog and instead hit Shift and Enter on my keyboard. One more time, that's Shift and Enter together, and that creates a left pointing arrow which signifies a soft Enter. Now I can apply my Heading 1 to the title, and it will apply to the full title instead of just the first line. And that's it for Heading 1s and Heading 2s. Heading 3s are a little bit more complicated, so that will be covered in the next video that you can find in the playlist. I've also linked it down in the description. If you don't have any Heading 3s in your document, you're free to move on to creating your table of contents. That video is also linked in the playlist and the description.